Oh lord, that's creepy. Hello, I mean, sorry. I said, did you want to know my real name since this is a private interview when no one else is here? Um, I'm fine either way, buddy. Okay. I guess you could just call me uh, Sam. Then. All right. All right. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready, man. Where do you see yourself in, these, in, in six months, in one year, and in five years? In the mirror. What? Ed, where do you see yourself in one year? And where do you see yourself in five years? Oh, yeah. I'll see myself in the mirror. What do you mean, Mike? That's the only way I'm going to see myself is in a mirror. No, it's, oh. it's a joke. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. yeah. <laughs> uh, in six months, done with college, a uh, year... Um, living on the coast, hopefully, and in five years, maybe retired. Are you trying to get like a PhD or something? No, I'm getting my master's. Nice. All right. What do you consider some of your biggest achievements in life so far? Hmm. Um, hmm. I'll be honest, so going from playing football, like, most of my life, uh, to actually being in a uh, more difficult academic program was pretty, it was pretty rough for me. I, uh, I had to learn a lot in a short period of time to catch up because I, either got passed through a lot of classes or had a lot of assistance with things growing up, like through high school and even first two years of college. Um, besides that, running my own business would be the other big one. Well, I'm happy for you with your business uh, venture. Thank you, man. Do you work over 40 hours a week? Um, it, de it depends on what you mean by work. Uh, most of the work I do now is on the phone with people. Like I'm, I'm on, I'm taking calls or not taking calls. I'm calling people most of the day now. I don't even run like the one shop I have. I don't even run it day to day. I have a manager who does that now. Oh, nice. So it's not like you're not on your feet all day. Do you mean? No, I'm mostly, I'm at home most days. Nice. I thought you were doing a type of job where you're like on your feet doing meetings and stuff. No, uh, I don't have a whole lot of in-person meetings anymore. Most people are cool with doing uh, uh, phone calls now or conference calls, stuff like that. Not People don't really want to do face-to-face -face meetings as much anymore. Yeah, I mean, I would only, I prefer doing them on like uh, like remote, you know, like video chat versus in person. Yeah, I understand that. Have you ever fired anyone? I have. I have fired three people so far. Well, when did you first start your business versus now? I mean, is that a lot of people or what? No, I've only... So I have 16 full-time employees and about five part-time employees. Okay. So why did you fire those three? Did they just not show up on time? Um, so no, they don't actually have to show up on time to this job, really. Uh, they were dangerous in the workplace is more or less what it was. Okay. Yeah. How did they take it? Um, two of them were pretty understanding. They have issues in their personal life that, uh, kind of interfered. Uh, and one of them was extremely upset. In fact, I think he's who may have broke into my shop. May have, so you can't prove it? No, I can't prove it. Oh. 
Man, I would be scared if that happened. I would get cameras or something. I have cameras. It's... Okay. Just not enough to really prove anything. I, uh, okay. Name one thing you wish you could change about yourself probably the most, if Ooh. anything. And I don't mean physically. I mean like a hobby or something or... Or or not not hobby. What's the word? Not trade. Um, hmm. habit habit. There you go. Oh, a habit. Um. Hmm. Uh, I wish I could take things more seriously more often. I don't. I have an issue with not taking things uh, very serious anymore. What, even though you run a business, you don't, are you saying you don't take that seriously or things besides the business? Um, like, what do you mean? I mean, I take it serious to a degree. It's a, it's a lot of things more so within like, uh, uh, honestly with like my relationship with my fiance and stuff is more the things like I need to take things a little bit more serious than I do at times. Um, let's yeah, and like injuries and things like this. I just, I've never taken on super serious. Like, I'm very goal motivated, but I don't, uh, I'm, I'm not serious when I should be at times. Okay, that sounds fair. That That's something you want to change, that is. Ugh, hold on a second. And I'd like, uh, you know. A tighter oh. asshole after that one time. <laughs> oh, didn't know. You got to tell me more details. Like, did you yell at her or if you brought it up? Man. Now, did you yell I, at her or what happened? I kicked her. <laughs> <laughs> not, not like a, not like a hard kick. It was more like a shove with my foot. Like. You just you did you give her a look or something or? Yeah no yeah we were done no that was it was it was too much man. You know one of my friends asked me would I do a threesome? Like he was asking us, but like two really hot porn stars, right? Yep. And then he said, but they have to lick my butt and stick a finger in it, and I was like, nope. <laughs> I, I told them I said nothing is touching my butthole except toilet paper. I don't care how hot the girls are. Hey, man. We all have our limits. <laughs> no way, man. No way is that happening. Nope. I poop with it. That's it. I poop with it. That's exit only. <laughs> yeah. Right. I right. understand that. Oh, man. All right. What about yourself are you confident about? Like, what areas of your life are you confident in, so to speak? Um, hmm. I'm confident in most things with myself. I would say my ability to get along with people. I'm a very easy to get along with person. Yeah, you seem pretty laid back. Yeah. Plus, I ask crazy questions, and you still seem laid back. Yeah, I just think they're funny. I'm, I don't care how crazy they are. Yeah, I think that's since this is a private interview. I think that's why I'm not a mod because people just don't like my questions or anything. Yeah. So there, it, there what? are times where it's like, oh yeah, Thor would Thor would probably make a good mod, and then you ask another person. Uh, would they eat a bloody tampon or something? And it's like, ah, well, maybe not. Maybe we need to wait a little bit. Yeah, I don't think I'm becoming one anytime soon. Not unless <laughs> I was banned from text chat. That's the only way. <laughs> yeah, if you were banned from text chat, you probably wouldn't be a mod. Yeah. Can you ban me from text chat? I I am able to, yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait, if you did that, then I don't think they would trust me if you did that then. 
I think they would understand why the ones who have spoken to you in VC and talked to you in text. I think they would understand. What do they say? I'm different in VC. The ones you oh, talk. Every, yeah, everyone knows you're different in VC. Oh, like what do they say? Like I seem like I have a split personality, or yeah, no, it's just you're. You don't go nearly as far in VC as you do in tech. Like, you'll take a line of questioning pretty far in text, as, and you won't do quite as much in VC. Yeah. You might have to, yeah, yeah, I might have you, yeah. You're just going to have to ban me from text chat when the interview's over, basically. <laughs> we can I'm talk serious. About it. Yeah. Which is funny because my activity will drop to zero because <laughs> I don't voice chat outside of doing the seminars. Yeah. But that's fine. So will you do that when the interview's over? I mean, if you really want me to, I can. I don't think you need it, but I can. Yeah, I don't think I need it. I enjoy having Thor in text chat. It's fun. Yeah. Yeah, I just need to do more seminars. And... Yeah, those are fun. I got a... Mod log the other day, my streak was so good, I got so mad that I got it. But oh well. Oh, damn. Oh well. We'll talk about that some other time. Yeah, we can. Is there, are there any beliefs you have that that you believe limit yourself? And I mean, besides what you said earlier about uh, not taking things seriously. Ooh, any beliefs that limit me? Um, hmm. Um, well, besides that men are better than women in every single way possible. Um, that's a joke, by the way. I, I don't actually yeah. believe that. Yeah, I'm um, sure I don't. I picked that one up, yeah. Um, hmm. I couldn't answer that. I don't think I have any beliefs that are so... Actually, that's not true. I hold a very high... Um, trying to think how to say i value freedom very highly um so i could see my uh value for freedom uh blocking me from thinking uh, the right way about certain things at times yeah i see so freedom like i guess because you're an american or do you just need freedom in general um, freedom in general. Okay. So, like, I, I believe freedom is actually more important than safety. Why is that? Um, I don't, I just don't like the idea of someone else being able to control you. Or a governing body being able to control you. In the, uh, in the name of safety being so controlling over you. Oh. So autonomy, in other words, consent, I guess. Yeah, I would be fine with that. I... Yeah. Okay, that's cool. What does being confident mean to you? What does it mean to me? Yes. Um... Is there another way to phrase that? I don't I don't know what you mean by what is being confident. Like what are you asking me what how, confidence is or what? how do you display confidence? How do you uniquely display being confident? I being... couldn't tell you. Oh, okay. It, it's just if I seem like I'm confident, I it's just who I am. Like I don't really put out a a show to seem confident. If I seem confident, then I feel confident about what I'm doing. Yeah. If I don't, I'll be honest about it. Like I'm, I don't feel confident doing this. Like I don't feel good about doing this. Okay. I guess going on to that, what do you think of yourself overall? Oh, I'm a real piece of shit. Like, um, you, I can't tell if that's a joke or not. Like, 
It's it's more of a joke. Uh, oh, yeah. So I generally like myself. I think I'm norm, mostly a good person. I do some things the wrong way. Um, I do get angry a little bit too easy at times. Um. Huh. That's about it, really. Okay. How has your past shaped you? In other words, how has what you have experienced turned you into the type of person you are today? Um, I got drilled at a very young age that uh, quitting isn't an option. Um, I have a very strong drive for the things I want to make happen. And that's the biggest thing. It's just my drive whenever I am motivated by something. Nice. All right, I just have a few. Mm -hmm. One, what could you talk about for 20 minutes? Because we all have things we love to talk about. So what could you talk about? I guess mm -hmm. if like we were having drinks or something. Um... So it's going to sound weird. It would depend on what time of year it is. When football season's on, I can talk about football all day, every day. Um, when it isn't football season, it's a little bit slower. It would be between, like, uh, fishing. It's, it's going to be like an activity. Uh, I don't actually uh, prefer academic subjects all that much. Um, so I'd rather talk about like vehicles, uh, guns, fishing, something along those lines. Any of those I could talk about for as long as I have breath, really. Cool. cool. All right. Two more. One, how do you want to be remembered in life? Um, I don't know if I do. Uh, besides, like, children, grandchildren, I don't know if I really want to be remembered. I want to eventually be a part of building something that's going to last a lot longer than I will, like an actual physical structure. Um, but besides that, I don't know if I personally want to be remembered. Well, so let's say your children, uh, okay, let's talk about your children. I don't know if you have any, I guess, hypothetical. I don't, I don't know, no. Oh, okay. So, what values do you want to instill in them besides a, a good work ethic? Um, I, I want them to know that life has many different uh, valuable and possible paths. Um, that you should never be pigeonholed into one thing because someone says or someone thinks you should that you can almost always work your way through something and do most things in life you would ever want to not everything because that's unrealistic but most things you work for you could do in life okay that's 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 cool and and finally how do you think other people have affected and I don't mean just me I mean like the other people in your life so how does your fiance I guess what does she mean to you oh what does she oh what is that a bad well, question no it's a good question I just have to think about it um say it one more time you cut out in the middle a little bit how did what what does your fiance mean to you what do the Who's people that? in your life mean to you um, everything really, man. I, to me, what matters most above a lot of things are the people who will be around you during your worst days. So family, close friends, my fiance, um, these people matter the most to me in my life and I would do almost anything for them. Um, because at the end of the day, like that's what you, what you have. 
Like you have the relationships you've built throughout your life. Like money, cars, all these objects don't really amount to much if you have no one around you. Right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. And I know, obviously, you're not as close. You're, you're closer to, you know, your fiance than, say, me. But what do I mean to you in some way? What do you mean to That's a good question. I actually need to get to know you better. I don't... So, like, we've talked a few times, but I don't actually know you that well yet. Um, oh, yeah, you're right, because I'm, <laughs> I'm the one asking questions, you're right. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know you super well. I enjoy talking to you. Um, I haven't had a time that we've talked that I didn't enjoy it. So I would like to get to know you more. Um, but I don't know you well enough to really put a... Put like a good sentence there yet, buddy. I'm gonna be honest. All right. Well, I mean, we're talking now, so is there anything you want to know about? Me? What would you like me to know most about you? Mm, that is a good question. My physical appearance, and it doesn't. That's not really good to you. My values, honesty. I guess integrity is the same as honesty. A good work ethic, empathy. Yeah. Um. Yeah, lear- learning to accept people who are different. Okay. Um, I live. I'm re- I'm young. I'm in my twenties. I uh, I'm studying physics. I want to be a professor one day of engineering, aerospace engineering, to okay. teach people. Um, what am I? I guess what am I obsessive over? What can I talk about? Uh, Iron Man. The phys- I actually have a book on Iron Man. Like, uh, yeah, uh, Iron Man. Iron Man, science fiction, astrophysics, and uh, this is going to be a weird one. But uh, spinal cord surgery, I guess that has to do with life and poverty too. Okay. Yeah, autistic people tend to focus on certain things. I guess that's what I focus on. Okay. Are- Wait, I I didn't know. Are you autistic? Yes. Okay, I didn't know that. Yes. I don't pick up on social cues. Not a lot of them. Yeah. uh, Yeah, Yeah. and I don't really know how to talk outside of a organized setting like this. That's why I'm not in voice chat regularly. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, I think most people, most of the mods know, like, something's wrong with you, probably. I don't think there's anything really wrong with you. you... I I can see the not picking up on social cues quickly. Um, in voice chats, you talk, I mean, you did rap that one time in a voice chat, so. Yeah. I Actually, I think I've heard you've done it more than once. I've just only, I've only heard it once. Yeah, I've done it more than once, yeah. Okay. Whenever you say empathy, what do you think is something people aren't uh, like a some subject or uh, idea that people aren't very empathetic with that they should be? I, I think I said I think I said poverty so rich versus poor so okay. I think I guess many people think that the poor poor well let me change. Low income jobs slash people have no value, and mm-hmm. I guess they they also believe they're rich, you know. Because the way I, I I guess you can disagree with me, but the way I see it is, if people want to do well for themselves, then I mean, as long as they're not trying to you know kill kill somebody, that's, I mean that's not really a big deal to me. Whether it's men, women, you know, black people, white people. Or rich poor. So if someone's working a full time job and they want to support themselves or something, then that seems fine. I don't. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I don't think anyone should really be shamed for their profession normally or. Give me a second. Sorry. Um, or for their 
tax bracket maybe is a better way to say it. Like, I don't, I don't think you should really be judged for it. I do think. So a lot of times when people are like, they talk down to, or not necessarily down to them, but about lower class people. I don't think it is normally, I don't think it normally comes from a place of hate of not understanding um and i think what you'll find actually is a lot of people who are well off financially can be missing a part in their life that people who struggle financially sometimes find much easier which are like those connections i was talking about i to me, I'm, I'm making fairly good money now, and the only thing in my mind that money really does, because money doesn't make you happy, what money does is it eliminates one burden of stress you have. So you're just taking a line from where stress would come from. Yeah. Um, and I think people who are making more money don't understand how someone could be satisfied in their position when they have stress over how much money they're making. Yeah. I watch a lot of political debates, minimum wage, maximum wage stuff. Mm -hmm. Watching one video, this senator said that the minimum wage is only for the poor, uneducated, and minorities. I'm like, wow, man. Yeah, I mean, I I don't know if I'd necessarily throw minorities in with it. I think just, I think minimum wage is generally for the, I'd have to look up the numbers, but from my experiences when I was younger, it's low, young it's low skill, young, and actually old people. Yeah. Like, very old people, not like... Uh, 50 years old, like, I'm talking, like, 60, 70, like, just want to work a job after they've retired. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, so when I'm talking about, I'm not more talking about from a senator's point of view, uh, I, I think many politicians are so dis, especially at, like, higher levels of being a politician, are so disconnected at that point from what it's like to be the average person. What if I told you one Senator said that middle class is 200,000 for one person and 400,000 for a family. I don't know. I mean, he's. And then he, he said that that's pennies that no family can survive on. Oh, he said that that's pennies. No one can survive on. Yes. That's what he said. I'm not sure. That's not, that's like not clickbait or anything. I'd have yeah, to find I, a video. So, I mean, I would have to know what state he was in or where he was, if he was referencing a certain area. It's just saying country, like, all around, and that's outrageous. Um, Lord, I know a guy, I, I know a guy and his wife who have three kids and they make, how oh Lord, how much is he probably making now? He's probably making about 40, 50 grand a year and she's making like 20, 30. And they're not well off or well to do or anything, but they're living a decent life. Like they have a decent sized place, good family, but I do live in the country, so it's pretty cheap. Yeah. When he said that, I said, This dude is out of touch. If two hundred thousand is middle class, does he know over half of workers don't even make sixty K a year? Like what's wrong with it? Yeah. Sometimes, man, I just want to put Congress people in like the worst possible positions. I want to make them work at McDonald's or mop floors or be in prison. And then after that, then they can come back and tell me how great it must be. <laughs> that's what that's what they act like, man. Yeah, I, like I said, I think a lot of them are out of touch with reality at times. Um. Yeah. You know, it's uh, I have interesting views on them. I, I actually think there should be an upper limit for a lot of political seats for age. 
Why is uh, that? Hmm? Why is that? Why? I think, so when you're actually in a position of power, I think they have a role in politics. Uh, the elderly, I guess is what I'll say. They have a role in politics, but it is not to be in control of politics. I think uh, middle age to late age adults are actually more suited for the jobs, to be honest. Or not even yeah, like middle to mid late. Yeah. I don't know. It just takes me off how, how they act. I'm like, I mean, I have nothing against being rich per se. But you can't be rich and then say, oh, you know, 30,000 is a lot of money or 50,000 is a lot of money. I'm like, come on, man. Come on, really? Yeah. I understand. I don't know. I don't have a clue how to fix any of those kinds of issues. I. Me neither. I really I'm, think money is just the root of most of it. Or do you agree? Money is the root of most problems. Um, I mean, think about it, man. Healthcare, education, transportation, house, car. Well, I said transportation, but you know what I mean. Military, budget, most of it's not everything is due to money. Yeah, I I don't know if money is actually it. It very well could be, but I don't know for sure. Like, I don't know enough to say yes or no. Yeah. All right. Nice. Anyway, uh, since this is a private interview, I guess that was that was, I guess, my whole interview. And I guess you were just asking some about me, uh, more stuff mm -hmm. about me. Um, I like to read. I like to play games. I want a girlfriend one day. I've never dated or kissed or anything. Okay, you're at. Um, are you at college right now, or are you uh, remote? Remote, unfortunately. Remote. Okay. Whenever uh, are you able wait, to go wait, back, or what's going on with that for it's, you? It's still remote. It's still remote. okay. Anyway, I told people on the server they were like, "How oh, you not in this or anything?" I'm like, "I don't know, man." I just said. Have you ever talked to a random woman in public? Ah, uh, yeah, a few times. Yeah. What have you talked about with them? Uh. I can remember, I think it was schoolwork and their hobbies and stuff. Okay. And there, and when I worked, worked at McDonald's for a while, and by a while, I mean several years ago. I'm not yeah. telling you, but, but when I worked there, a couple of girls did hit on me. Okay. So with that, do you think your issue is closing the deal? Yeah, probably. Probably my social skill. Okay. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. I'll be right back, okay? Sorry, right, buddy. Hey man, you there? Hey brother, yeah, I'm here. Yeah, I gotta go, but uh, will you, will you, do you have to go somewhere later? Or... Um, uh, I may be busy this evening. I'm not sure. Okay, well, I'll hit you back in 20 minutes just to see if you're busy. Okay. All right, buddy. All right, I like talking to you. Bye. I like talking to you too, man.